Welcome back everyone, this is Kevin. This video is going to be all about jaw selection. So when you're getting ready to purchase your Kronos modular vice system, you might be wondering, which jaws do I need? Because we have five jaws to choose from, it might be a little bit confusing which one you should choose. But the following examples will show you how easy it is. Let's take a look at our first option. Let's say you're trying to hold on to something that's a bit softer, such as plastic, like Delrin or ABS or Teflon, and you don't want to leave an impression where the jaws clamp the part. For that, you're going to want to use the tallest jaws we offer, which is a 3 8 step jaw, along with the 3 8 backstop. This will spread out the clamping pressure so you don't crush the part. For our next jaw option, we have an aluminum blank we want to machine and we don't have quite as much stock to work with on the bottom, so we need a thinner clamp. For that, we're going to use the 3 16 jaw along with the 3 16 backstop. Because we're working with a harder material, we can apply plenty of clamping pressure to hold the part. You can see the pattern by now. If you want to hold on to the least amount of stock possible, you're going to want to choose the thinnest jaw we offer. That's the 332nd jaw with the matching 332nd backstop. This is great because you have less material to remove from the backside of the part. It's going to save you time, materials, wear and tear on your machines, ultimately saving you money. That's it for the smooth jaws. Now of course I'm going to save the best two jaws for last. The first one is the knife edge jaw. This jaw can easily produce three times the clamping force of any of the smooth jaws. The hardened steel knife edge will actually bite down into the material when you clamp it. But this will produce a divot so you want to make sure it's on the stock that's going to get machined away. Now if you want to push your machine to the max and get the best material removal possible, you can actually use the knife edge jaws as a dovetail jaw. All you have to do is first prep your material with a double 45 degree cutter and now you've got a custom dovetail which gives you an interlocking fit between the stock and the jaws. With this setup you're almost guaranteed to break a tool before the part's going to come loose. And now for the last jaw. This is my second favorite jaw and this is going to allow you to make really complicated parts and still be able to hold on to them. This is of course the soft jaw and the soft backstop. These do require the most prep work because you actually have to machine the contour of the shape of the part so that they match together. But when you're talking about holding a complex part, there's virtually no other way to do it. And now you just have to machine off the hat and finish any radiuses or chamfers that are left. And there you go. Now that you've seen the variety of ways to use the jaws, whether that's the smooth step jaws, or the knife edge jaw, or the custom soft jaws, you can easily pick the right one for your job. Click the link and head on over to the website. Feel free to leave any comments or questions, and thanks for watching. See you next time.